Now, the companion to this is to read data from Excel. So I can read data in, and let's see um, if I wanted to bring that data in. All I have to do is provide the file path. So I select the file. Uh, let's say I have a sheet list here. If I wanted to bring that information into Dynamo. One thing to note, once I select the file, it's different, the difference between these two recipes. I have file path in the export data to Excel that connects right to file path. In the read data from Excel, I have to get the file path, then I use the file dot from path node. Then I connect that to the file node of Excel read from file. A little bit weird, but then I specify the uh, sheet name in Excel read from file and then whether or not I want to read numbers as strings. So I have that option uh, right there. And then you'll see I'm automatically doing a list transpose on this end. Let me just give this, I'm going to disconnect some of these guys. I'm going to give this a run and we can see how that data comes right into Excel, or sorry, right into Dynamo. So I brought that, I read that data here, <clears throat> excuse me, and now I can take a look at it. So here is, uh, let me see, did it pull up my Excel file? It did. So I had some sheet information right here in Excel. So I have sheet number, sheet name, view, and so forth. And I read that into Excel. Then I used a list transpose. So now I have all of that data in their own individual list. So I have a list of sheet numbers. I have a list of sheet names. And then I have approved by and, and all that information. So I could then use this to go ahead and you know generate a whole bunch of sheets just from this data. So it's real easy and straightforward to pull that data um, back into Dynamo from Excel.